see Hannah's working on a project. Mm-hmm. What are you working on? Or should I ask? Is it a surprise? No, it's chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, yummy. That'll be nice. Okay, well, I'll leave you alone so you can get busy with it. Okay. And who do you have there? Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Hey, how's Tasha, Tasha? Are you doing good today, Tasha? Yes, of course. You're being carried. It's warm, it's sunny, it's nice. Of course you're doing good, huh? <laughs> right? Right. Right. You're doing really good. Thank you. Got the heads on there. You're putting the cams in now? Yeah. That's a lot of camshafts to put together and get all timed properly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Is that going to be a chore to get all that stuff timed up properly? Yeah. One sure. crank and four camshafts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That will. Two um, idlers, or however you want to call it. Yeah, that'll be a chore, but your book will tell you how to do it, sweetie. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. You're doing good. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. How are you doing on this here, Sky Guy? Good. Huh? Good. I can't get it to start, though, unless I prime it. Oh, well, show me. Okay. You check the oil and everything, right? Yeah. You said you put oil in it, uh -huh. right? I have some gas in here, so I'll just pull okay. it off. That's a good sign. That's that awesome. engine will run, won't it? Yes, it does make a difference <laughs> to have yes, it on. it does, yeah. Okay, cool. So, but you're saying that it won't run from the gas tank right now, right? Right. Which means that it probably has a carburetor that needs to be cleaned out. Yeah. Maybe a gas tank too, huh? <laughs> Maybe. What do you think? Probably. Okay, are you going to pull the carburetor off? You want me to do it? I'll do it. Okay, look at that. That's a, that's a fancy engine. That's an overhead valve engine this time. Huh. Okay. All right. Go ahead and pull the carburetor off. Okay. And we will um, clean that up. Now, does this have a shutoff valve on the fuel tank? No. Probably not. I couldn't nope. find any. It does, actually. It does? Yeah, but you can't get to it. Where at? It's way in the back over here. I can see it. I think that's a shutoff. Maybe it's not. No, I can't Maybe not. Tell. Anyway, go ahead and pull the carburetor off of it, okay. and we will clean it up because we're going to definitely need every bit of two rotor tillers this year, maybe three. We have that old, uh, the other <laughs> old one we could work on. You know what? What? You have a black ring around your mouth. <laughs> you were trying to make gas go through the fuel lines, weren't you? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, you need to wash your face now, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just mechanics tracks, right? Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Hey, you did great so far. Thank you. Really pleased with that. That's good. Okay, let's see. What else are we going to need? It looks like if we clean that carburetor up. Now, you said the shift cable is no good? Yeah, the drive cable here. The drive cable is froze up? Yeah. It's supposed to move this pulley right here, and the pulley's free to tighten the belt and make it drive. But if you pull on the cable, it doesn't move yeah, that pulley. Yeah, look here. That's, that's no good right there, even. Okay? Um, with this cable here, it works that one. Oh, okay. So it's the other cable, huh? It's the bottom cable. Yeah. You know, what we can do is we can start trying to squirt some WD-40 right down the cable and let it soak through and see if it might free up. It probably won't. We can see. And okay. if not, we can replace the cable. probably ought to think about replacing the belts. They've probably been sitting a long time also. Yeah. Okay, keep on going. You're doing good. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So we got a lot done now. It's looking really good. We got that up there all moved away. So now we're boxing that, box plating that up. The garden is going to be big. Real big. Oh, this dark stuff 
the dirt that's been all turned up. That's all garden space. And so, since they had the pigs on it, then the garden should do really good. Because now the dirt is really nice and fertilized. Papa's working a little bit more on it now. working so we can start rototilling. away from and we have all of this box plated and we have the pigs over there so they can tell up where the sorghum is going to be that gray pig there is going to have babies in the, in the next couple of days we're still trying to get it all pinned up in the, the cage that has the farrowing hat
where the geese and the chickens are free-ranging. The geese are right over there, just kind of roaming about, and the guineas and the chickens are somewhere else. The guineas are over right by the dog. For a while we hadn't been putting the chickens away at night, but we started to now because something got one of our chickens the other day. The other night, I should say. And there's two of the chickens missing, so we're not sure which one it was.